With the news that Call of Duty 2023 Treyarch's next Zombies installment is going to be delayed, the question has been arisen that how in the hell is Call of Duty and Activision going to keep the Zombies community alive until the next iteration of the game? And I'm not gonna lie, this easily opens the door for the possibility of Call of Duty Zombies having Chronicles 2 coming out inside of the game. Of course, whether that be safe for Black Ops Cold War or if it was to be in COD 2024, we would never know. But with all this extra time in between games, it would be the perfect time for Call of Duty to launch Chronicles 2 with a bunch of the Transit and the Transit Crew maps, the Victus maps, giving us a ton of new content, or I guess old content, to play over the two year long break that we're going to be having from Call of Duty Zombies. Now I first saw this brought up by the homie Codename Pizza, and, he, and Pizza said, I don't want to be that guy, but does No Call of Duty in 2023 mean more of a possibility of Zombies Chronicles 2 on Cold War? For real though, if they save this for the next game after all the extra development time, it could be huge. And honestly, I am right there with Pizza, because with how poorly Vanguard Zombies have been received, along with Modern Warfare 2 more than likely not having zombies, and then COD 2023 being delayed, it's almost like a three year wait in between zombies games from Cold War to whatever the next installment of Call of Duty's Treyarch game is going to be. And I think the easiest solution for Treyarch and for the Activision community as a whole is to release Chronicles 2 as a way to kind of keep the player base alive, even if just a little bit, for Call of Duty Zombies. Obviously, we'd be looking at something like Transit, Die Rise, Buried, possibly Call of the Dead, Mob of the Dead, and all of those kinds of maps remastered for this Chronicles 2 game mode. And they don't even have to release it all at one time. Maybe they could release them in spurts every month or every two months they release one of these new maps just to keep us playing over the time that we have in between games. The Zombies community kind of felt dead in between Black Ops 4 and Black Ops Cold War. Obviously, Zombies as a whole wasn't really that big of a deal in that time frame, and if Call of Duty wants to keep making Zombies in the future, they need to play off of what they had with Cold War and hopefully bring that energy back to the mode itself because obviously Vanguard kind of killed any of the life that we had for this game at the beginning. Now, if this were the case, I would not expect anything to be released for Chronicles 2 until at least 2023 during the break that we're supposed to be having for Call of Duty that year. In fact, I would expect the first kind of teasers for Chronicles to not be coming until November 2023, right around the time that the game was supposed to release, but instead releasing new remastered maps for us to play in that time frame. Obviously, this year we have Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 playing off of Modern Warfare 2019, and there's not going to be any zombies in that game as far as we know, and it wouldn't really make sense for them to continue doing Vanguard Zombies in like a year or two. Instead, I would rather have like a Cold War like year three than a Vanguard Zombies year two. But if that Cold War Zombies year three is going to be something like Chronicles 2, that would be absolutely massive for the community because obviously we need to keep this Zombies community alive because it's been on life support plenty of times before. And with how poorly Vanguard's been received as well as no Zombies this year and now no Zombies next year, it would be the perfect time for them to release something like Chronicles 2 instead of Call of Duty Zombies. Let me know your thoughts down below. Do you want to see Chronicles 2 come out to replace the next Call of Duty game? I hope you guys have a great Easter day and I'll see you soon. Big shout out to all the channel members over on the channel and an extra special shout out to all of the Zombie Richthoff members starting off with the M60 wielding maniac, Deathwish, my guy, Ben the Bulldozer, and the man the myth the legend, Tiz Brandon, ZR.